To create reflection captures in Unreal Engine, first, create a reflective material by right-clicking and selecting Material, and then give it a name. Open the Material Properties and set the Blend Mode from Opaque to Translucent. Then scroll down and set the Lighting Mode from Volumetric to be Surface Translucency Volume. Now let's build a reflection material by holding 3, clicking into the graph, and plugging that into the base color. Make sure to set the color to a white. Then you can hold 1, click in the graph, and then add this into the metallic and set the value to be 1. Then you can hold 1 again, click on the graph, leave the value at 0, and plug this into the roughness. Save our material, and let's head back to the scene and add that reflection material to some objects in your world. Once that's done, you can hit the uh, Add to Project at the top here and search for Reflection. And we have a couple different options. We have Sphere, Box, and Planar Reflections. For this example, we'll use Sphere. And you can drop this in the scene here. And then you'll notice that your translucent materials will begin uh, reflecting. If the, um, the actual image quality is, uh, is low, you can go into your project settings and under the rendering section, uh, under reflections, there is a capture resolution. I think the default is 128. If you set that to 128 and we go back, you can see it's, uh, it's a little bit fuzzy and it's not quite as um, clear. So the higher the number, the basically the clearer the image. So in this example, we're using 1024. Another thing you'll notice is that some of the cubes in this scene are being reflected and then some others are not. Uh, the downside to this is it is pre-computed, uh, so only static objects in your scene can be reflected. So this cube right now is set to static, and these other two cubes are set to movable. Uh, that also means that if we play the scene, our player will actually not reflect as well. Uh, the biggest advantage of using this method is there's minimal runtime performance, as the reflections are pre-computed during build time. But some of the disadvantages of that are because the reflections are pre-computed, uh, they're not dynamic, and so obviously they can't reflect moving objects. Uh, the other disadvantage too is you would have to do some layering and blending uh, if you have multiple areas that have different reflections. So you can get uh, accurate reflections in those different areas. Otherwise you're getting the same reflection from the single source. So that is something to keep in mind. But I hope this was helpful.